Next week, you are invited to a Texas-sized party with a long history. It is the Texas Cowboys Christmas Ball in Anson. Here with us now is John Compier, the Texas Cowboys Christmas Ball historian. That's a that's a pretty big title for you. Well, I've been around a long time, mm -hmm. so that's probably the reason. And yep. uh, my great grandfather attended the very first ball in 1885. Wow. So we're in the sixth generation of our family, so that's probably why. All right, so we just had 134 years, right? 134 okay. years. We did some math before the show, if you're wondering. We came up with that number. All right, so let's talk about the Christmas ball and where it all got started. Well, in 1880, it's the historical reenactment of the original 1885 frontier ball mm -hmm. in Gala. They invited all the cowboys, their ladies, and their families into Anson at the old Morning Star Hotel and had a Christmas gala with the Grand March, food, drink, and music and dancing for the community. And that's the tradition that we're reenacting. It's mm -hmm. a historical reenactment. It's for family. It and is. It's uh, definitely a, a Western, uh, Western history lovers bucket list bonus. But it's a family Christmas. Uh, and and what I love, I think, is the, um, the costumes. You dress up. That's part of um, going into the Christmas ball, correct? Yes. Uh, all of the members of the ball association, all of the ladies, wear the 1885 dresses. And the men will wear uh, something similar to what, what I have on today. Mm -hmm. uh, and one, one interesting thing, the 1885 rules which we still have, mm -hmm. remain in effect. Yeah. The ladies must wear dresses okay. on the dance floor. And gentlemen have to check in their hats, their spurs, and their guns. And there's no alcohol, there's no tobacco smoking, there's no cussing, fighting, or shooting guns, mm -hmm. or riding horses in the hall. And so it's very family friendly then? It's, very, it's a family Christmas tradition, yes. So who are the performers this year for the ball? The Thursday night will be Michael Martin Murphy, and the Texas uh, and the Real Grandy Band. Okay. Friday night will be Jake Hooker and the Outsiders, and Saturday night is Jody Nix and the Texas Cowboys. All right. And so, how do we get tickets for this? It's always the weekend before Christmas, so we still have about a week to go. So, how do we get our tickets for the ball? <laughs> Woo! That was really. There we go. It's loud. Hello. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. We don't know what happened there. The sound is on. So maybe they can cut that off. We can get the tickets going. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, someone <laughs> didn't put mute on this TV, obviously, scared the bejesus out of us. All right, how do we get our tickets? Well, this is the reason why you should get your tickets yeah. and go enjoy it. Uh, you get them online, texasccb.com. Okay. Texasccb.com. And they're cheaper if you buy them online in advance, and they're a little bit more if you buy them at the door. Okay. Uh, uh, there's th uh, two different prices. Adults will have a price, then teenagers will have a price. Children under 12 are free, okay. and active duty military are free. All right. Well, we look forward to the big Cowboys Christmas Ball in Anson. So if you want to come out for a great time, the ball will be at Pioneer Hall, located at 2300 Avenue G in Anson. It will be December 19th through the 21st. To learn more to get tickets, you can call the Anson Cowboy, or you can go to the AnsonCowboyChristmasBall.com.